Right guys, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, an incredibly reliable source with 89% in terms of accuracy, confirms a few things about the 2021 iPad Pro that might be good and slightly bad news. So in terms of good, he says that we should be getting better cameras, performance that's on par with the M1 chip, and of course the mini LED upgrade we've been hearing about forever now. But then he also confirms a few not so great things we have heard in the past. For example, mini LED will be exclusive to the bigger size and also the release of this iPad Pro might not be at the March event. Instead, it might be released in the coming months. So yes, that is bound to break some of your hearts but either way, let's delve into the information. So without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe, click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So Mark Gurman on his new episode of Power Up covered pretty much everything we can see from Apple in 2021. And in that video of all kinds of products, he covers the 2021 iPad Pro and spills the beans on what exactly we can expect with the upgrade. So he confirms a lot of what we know so far and I'm just cherry picking some of the things he mentioned that sound a bit intriguing and that begins with some bad news regarding the release date of this iPad. So of course all this time we've been under the assumption the iPad Pros would be ready for March at the March event but of course recently we had an anonymous Korean source claiming other things, saying the iPad Pro might be delayed till the second half of the year. And now we have the much more credible Mark Gurman pretty much corroborating the same piece of info. So to quote him from the video, he says the iPad Pro should be releasing in the coming months. And yes, I know that March would of course fit into coming months, but let's be honest, this is Mark Gurman and he would have been precise about the release timeframe if it was coming next month. I mean, here's a few things I noticed from the video. Number one, for pretty much every product except the iPad Pro, he gives us a specific timeframe as to when he expects them to release. For example, the MacBook Air should be releasing at the end of the year, the MacBook Pro should be releasing mid-year, and of course the Mac Pros should be coming out next year in 2022. But then when it came to the iPad Pro, he merely said coming months, which suggests to me that maybe there is some sort of delay because of possible production issues, and that meant Apple has to push the iPad Pro release till further into 2021. Now this isn't completely unreasonable in my opinion because we're aware of mini LED having production issues and supply constraints because of the pandemic. And so maybe those problems have arised again and has forced Apple to delay these products until further notice. But also you might be aware the iPad Pros have traditionally had an 18 month refresh cycle. And so of course, maybe Apple's push back the iPad Pros because they have a schedule to follow. Or of course, alternatively, because we have an abundance of products at this March event, supposedly, maybe Apple's having some sort of mini April event where they cover the rest of the devices that were pushed back, like the iPad Pro, AirPods Pro 2, AirPods 3, and a potential iPhone SE. And also on top of this, I noticed that Mark Gurman mentions nothing about AirTags and the iPad Mini 6, both of which are pretty much confirmed to be happening in March. So pretty much everything he mentions in this video for the most part are products happening later than March. And so yes, that could be another piece of evidence as to why the iPad Pros could be delayed. That is quite a bummer. I am pretty disappointed if that is true, but the bad news doesn't end there because then we have information about the mini LED panel and how it's going to be exclusive to the bigger size only. So again, this is not exactly groundbreaking news because of course, if you've watched my previous videos, I've mentioned that Digitimes, who has connections within the supply chain, has explicitly said that there's been no 11-inch mini LED panels in the supply chain right now. 
Now, of course, some of you are going to wonder why is Apple doing this? Well, I do have a few reasonings as to why. Number one, the supply issues I mentioned before. If mini LED is still really hard to produce, then of course it would be easier for Apple to make these iPads by giving one model mini LED instead of both. But ultimately, I think it just comes down to Apple wanting us to buy the biggest, most expensive model. We saw that with the iPhone 12 Pro Max where it had some exclusive camera upgrades over the rest of the lineup. So in that way, the iPad Pro has an exclusive display upgrade over the rest of its lineup. So yes, right now it's just bad news after bad news after bad news, but do not worry because Mark Gurman confirms the most awaited upgrade of them all, and that is 5G because who can't wait to obliterate their iPad's battery life with the mediocre speeds of 5G. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm kidding. Actually, Mark Gurman tells us a few more tidbits about what to expect with mini LED and the upgrades that benefit us. And specifically, he says that we should see higher brightness and better contrast ratios. Now, weirdly enough, I didn't realize this, but the iPad pales in comparison to the iPhones in these respective areas right now. For example, in terms of brightness, the iPad stands at 600 nits, whereas the iPhones have a max brightness of 1200 nits. So yeah, that is quite a massive difference. It's clear, the iPads need some upgrades in these departments and well, we should be getting exactly that with mini LED. Because like I've mentioned in the past, mini LED is essentially an overpowered version of LCD and bridges the gap between LCD and OLED. And so while the brightness and contrast ratio might still not be as good as the Super Retina XDR displays, it will be way closer than what they are right now. Another upgrade I'm looking forward to is the performance of these new iPad Pros. And yes, I know the current A12Z powered iPad Pros are no slouch when it comes to performance. They're still very much a beast. But Mark Gurman mentions something quite interesting and that is, he says the new chips in the iPad Pros should be on the levels of the M1. Now, I actually predicted this a long time ago. In fact, I did say there is a chance we could see the M1. And what I'm assuming is going to happen is that essentially the A14X will be a rebranded version of the M1 for the iPad. And so the fact Mark Gurman specifically mentions the performance will be on par with the M1, it leads me to believe that Pro Apps could finally be coming to the iPad. This has been long rumored, but I think accompanied with the A14X and more RAM, this could finally be a possibility. And oh boy, I am looking forward to this. I can't wait to finally use Final Cut on the iPad. Anyways, that brings me to the last two upgrades that Mark mentions, and that is the slightly thicker body, which I guess isn't really an upgrade, but also the new cameras. So I did make a video on the thicker body, which of course you can check out in the iCard above, but Mark Gurman says it's purely because of mini LED. The LED backlight needs space for the heat generated. And so yes, it will be slightly thicker on the bigger model to accommodate this new display. In terms of the cameras, Mark Gurman simply says the better. So I do think that means that the cameras we saw on the iPhone 12, the better main sensor with the wider aperture and possibly the wide angle sensor from the iPhones could be coming to the iPads. Though I guess there is also a chance that we could see a triple lens camera, much like some rumors in the past have suggested. And that's pretty much everything Mark Gurman mentions in the latest episode of Power Up. And by the way, if you wanna watch that, I'll leave it in the description below. But tell me in the comments below, if we don't see the iPads in March, when do you expect them to launch? And also, would the LCD display on the iPad Pro 11 inch be a deal breaker to you? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out a video here in the icon above about the iMacs and how they could also be delayed. 
And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.